what's going on guys it's eric again back with another video as you guys can tell it's gonna be another car video today um just kind of out and about here i'm on my lunch hour i had to get some steaks uh today is june 3rd of 2020 my sister's birthday uh we're just gonna go out and kind of celebrate it just have some steaks on the grill and kind of go around and have a little family time and have it be that but anyway that's not the theme of this video today it's not kind of a ramble series video I'm gonna call this one kind of a sports vlog. Now, as you guys know, trying to get back into the YouTube thing, gonna to try to do some sports stuff, some beer stuff, maybe a weekend ramble here and there. So this one's gonna be necessarily, uh, or this one's gonna be uh, centered on sports here. And you're probably gonna know by the title. I don't necessarily know what the title's gonna be just yet, but you'll know by the title as you come and come along and click on the video here. But anyway, I kind of want to talk about. Uh, the Lions a little bit and Major League Baseball here a little bit. As you guys know, I'm a big Tigers fan, even though I'm wearing a Detroit Lions t-shirt. Don't know if it's with the steering wheel and the, um, the seatbelt in the way. Don't know if it's that obvious. And I'm a Lions fan. As you can tell in my head here, I'm a Tigers fan. But uh, I want first, I kind of want to talk about the Lions here just a little bit. I'm just trying to get right back into the groove of things. Um, I don't know if the, number one, I don't know if the NFL is going to start this year. Number two, if they do start... Uh, I don't know necessarily if the Lions are going to be uh, very competitive this year. As you know, Diggs is gone, uh, Quandre Diggs and Slay are gone. One of their two uh, two supporting players, and I would even guess probably even one of their best players, as they've gone on to uh, to better places, <laughs> better places I kind of say, uh, with Philadelphia and Seattle, and. They pick up Jeff Okuda from Ohio State in the draft, along with some others, which I'd ha I would honestly, guys, I'm going to have to go back and kind of see where they all kind of uh, fit in here into the Lions. But I don't know if the Lions were to start today and to play out the season if they would be very good. I'm guessing it's probably going to be another losing season. My guess is probably right around where we were last year, 3-12-1, and 3-13, and 2-14, 4-12, right around there and i say that only because i don't think our pass rush uh got any better uh, i think we added some pieces but it's the experience level kind of where I'm, is where i'm going with this also with the secondary here too uh, i think our defense is gonna shine uh, not shine in a good way obviously i think it's gonna be susceptible to the long ball there's gonna be hardly really any pass rush we may get to the quarterback here and there but um, as a whole, I don't think it's going to be very well. And it's all because of the pieces that we've kind of put in together and what Patricia's been trying to do of breaking us down, bringing the team down and kind of bringing it back up with the pieces that he thinks are going to be uh, uh, good, solid pieces here. I disagree with that. I would should have thought, or I would have thought they would have kept uh, Quandre Diggs. I, I understand the reason why they let Quandre Diggs go or cut him, but being... What we know now, what we didn't know then, how big of an intricate piece that he was, along with Slay. I mean, Slay kind of felt like he had to kind of do it all, I think, that um, to try to make sure pass coverage was in the right spot, kind of be the coach on the field kind of thing, and kind of be where the ball is at all times. And he really couldn't be. He had to rely on his other players. And the other players, I'm not saying they don't have the, experience, the, the talent level. They don't have the experience level to, uh, to where Slay is at. And I, I honestly do think that Awarie and, goodness, who are some other folks? Okuda, with he, he's going to be playing just this year. This will be his rookie year. And a couple of other pieces that the Lions have. And like I said, I would have to go right back through the roster and kind of see who's all on the secondary. They just don't really have the experience. And some don't have the talent level uh, to be a starter, number one, and to kind of contribute. And I'm not saying that is a knock to the Lions at all. I'm just saying that we just don't have the experience level uh, to compete. I just think the long ball is going to hurt us. I, I don't think our, our defensive line, I think we've upgraded on the defensive line. Is it going to translate to uh, getting to the quarterback and all that? No, I don't think so. And it's the offensive line, I think, is going to be the offensive line. They're just going to have to score points for us to win uh, football games. We very well could be in that 0-16 conversation again. I really don't like to, to, like to say that, but I mean, I'm trying to not to be all doom and gloom. I'm just trying to be a realist here. I just don't think the Lions are really going to be all that. I think Patricia's going to be out after this year, even though the coaching, uh, the management staff has said that they like they, what they've seen from last season. Uh, from the beginning of the season, it was just with all the injuries that we had. 
got us to that um got us to that 312 and one which i should have thought we should have handily beat the uh, arizona cardinals last year i don't understand why we even ended up in a tie like we did that was atrocious but we're gonna go ahead and see how the season plays out i think it's probably gonna be at most a four win season uh, i don't think you're gonna get any better than that i think if you get four wins i think you're better you better be pretty pretty competent with the season coming around based on our talent level but i mean with the air with the arizona with the new england patriots belichick pretty much had kind of do had to do the same thing too but you had to believe in your coaching staff that they were going to do the right thing we're just going to have to go ahead and see how this all pans out as with the tigers I don't even know if they're even going to be playing a season this year. It sounds like they're, uh, the money issues come up again, which the fans don't like. I don't like hearing that either with, hey, I'm, we agreed on this contract, blah, 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 and the COVID-19 pandemic coming in. Some of them even have pandemic clauses in, which I think the MLS soccer that I heard has a pandemic uh, clause in it, which the, the wording must be, in such a way that they could put it under the, the COVID-19 pandemic. That comes into play here with sports as well. I don't know if Major League Baseball has that, which I haven't, excuse me, which I haven't really heard about, but uh, I've been watching a lot of Korean baseball and, the, and one person was right, and I can't remember who said this, uh, the talent spread between Major League Baseball and the Korean baseball organization is, it, it's, it's pretty far apart. Uh, I watch a little bit of it. There's defensive mistakes that the Koreans make, even uh, any Korean team. I'm not trying to say the Koreans as, um, as a derogatory term at all or anything like that. I'm just saying it is um, they, they, they're just their nationality. Um, they, they should be swinging at pitches that they don't swing at. Just kind of like rookie league ball or maybe early starting getting into the Major League Baseball. So if you see those kind of mistakes going on, probably even some minor league uh, teams probably you would see that. I would kind of put the, and that's a good kind of analogy here too. I would put Korean baseball organization probably on par with your your double A AA and triple A baseball teams. If you were to pair those two together, you would probably get a competitive game instead of putting them up against the Major League Baseball team, where the Major League Baseball team would be would pound them. But anyway, kind of going back to what I to what I mean about the Major League Baseball season. There's money issues. There's, they're trying to figure out how many games they're going to play. If it goes on too long, are they even going to have a season? Uh, I can't remember who's the, the baseball uh, insider for Major League Baseball as a whole, not just a team one. Uh, he's on ESPN. And Scott Van Pelt kind of um, interviews him. I kind of catch Van Pelt's, um, his sports center kind of thing, sports center at night kind of episode or program in the morning. Uh, early morning right around 7 a.m. while I'm drinking coffee and trying to get myself woke up I'll put that on and try to catch up on sports that happened overnight um, that's a big thing with the uh, with baseball right now the money thing how many games are going to be putting in if they squabble too much are they really going to get any kind of baseball um, are they going to get any baseball in at all notwithstanding that's kind of something that uh, is going to have to be kind of hashed out and being a big baseball fan a Tigers fan I, I don't know if we're going to see baseball this year. I'll I'll kind of put it as bluntly as that. Um, trying to figure out what else I kind of want to say here. I'm not a real big Red Wings fan, although I've heard they're going to try to restart. Um, National Hockey League is going to try to restart as well as the NBA. They seem to be kind of the most aggressive and seem to have a plan moving forward uh, with the commissioner. Uh, I don't even know who the commissioner of the NBA is. I don't follow the NBA, so... And there's reasons behind that, too, which I'll probably make another video on instead of taking this video. Um, they seem to kind of be the most aggressive to try to get a season started. And it sounds like they're going to kind of condense teams into one city. They're going to be in a city for a couple of months, three or four months, try to ha get uh, games in, and then they're going to have a playoff system. I don't honestly know how this is all going to transpire, but with the COVID-19 pandemic kind of going on right now, which I know people have their own opinions on the pandemic. Uh, I just don't know how all this is going to kind of come to the forefront and if it's going to go away or whatever with um, with the other things in the news that have came on uh, about it. 
So, with that being said, I'm 10 minutes in. I'm back here. I had to run to the supermarket to grab so uh, grab a steak to go to um, one of my sister's uh, her birthday party. We're going to grill steaks. I already said that up in the front of the video. I don't even know really why I'm kind of doing it now, but um, you guys kind of seem to like these kind of raw videos of me and kind of just going off the cuff and um, just kind of saying kind of what how I feel about things. So, Guys, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Probably the next video you probably see about sports is probably going to be sometime in the weekend. I'm kind of going to do every other day videos instead of doing an every day video. Uh, we're going to go ahead, go ahead and see where this all uh, pans out. Make sure that the pandemic is, uh, is going to come down. If we're going to see a second spike, you guys know all this sort of stuff. I shouldn't have to be repeating myself. You guys already all know this if you watch any type of news or read the newspaper, read any online articles about it. So... Guys, going to go ahead and leave it there. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you do not. If you do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. All right, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.